When you are using Google Slides with Pear Deck and you want to have slide animation or text animation within your presentation, if you were to present within Google, your animation would automatically appear. However, with Pear Deck, this will not work unless you have the Google Chrome Power Up extension installed. So if you look on the CTL Hybrid Remote Teaching Resources page under our Popular Tools for Student Engagement Online, there is a lot of information about using Pear Deck, but you want to click on the link about getting animation in Google Slides to display with Pear Deck. And when you click on that, that will walk you through Pear Deck's instructions on installing the Power Up extension in Chrome, as well as how, how to run the presentation. If I go back to my Google Slides and click on Pear Deck, I can now pull up my Pear Deck interactive uh, toolbar where I can add my Pear Deck questions. This is how you're going to present your Pear Deck questions is by clicking on Start Lesson. But if I do not have that Power Up extension installed, I won't see the slide or text animation. So one way to check, once I follow the instructions on Pear Deck's website and I install the extension, if you look in your browser, now you have to remember, you have to use Chrome. If I go to this little puzzle piece, that's my extensions, and click it, notice I have Pear Deck Power Up. And I actually clicked on the little pin to pin it, so that way I know it's always there. So now when I go back, to my Google Slides and I pre-start the lesson from Pear Deck. I'm going to do instructor paste so you can see this. Start a new session. You're going to get two windows. You're going to get the teacher window which is the smaller window, right? And I'm going to close the class code. And I'm going to, what I like to do is take this teacher window and if I have two screens or make it really small, right, and move it off because your main screen right here is what your students are going to see. So if you were to just click with your arrow to advance on your keyboard, the animations will appear. And I'm going to go back. If you try to advance using these, this advanced toolbar, it's not going to advance the animation because this down here in the bottom left corner, two of nine, is only advancing the slides. So if you want to advance the text animation, you can click in the slide. I'm clicking now instead of using my keyboard. Right, so you can click, or if you're like me, you can use your arrow keys um, on that. Do not try to use the teacher dashboard. Um, it, A, your students can see the teacher dashboard if you bring it into the window, but the animation, the text animation will not appear with that. If you have further questions, go ahead and check out our CTL website at ctl.center.edu.